Welcome back to Infinite Star Heart. I'm Shia, here to do your November monthly reading for all of my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. Do keep in mind that these readings are general. Only apply the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Alright. If you're new, welcome. I'm Shia, glad you're here. Do hit that like button and share if this reading does resonate with you. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can on my website at infinitestarheartcreations at gmail.com. You can also email me at infinitestarheart at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook as well. All of that information is in the description box below. Alright, so Aqua, Aqua Gang, hope you all been doing well. Alright, I'm just getting back on track here, had to take some time out um, for other things myself, okay, and also when I'm called to withdraw my energy, um, from doing these readings, I do so as well. Alright, um, a few things before we get started. We are in Scorpio season. Alright, we did have the uh, new moon that was in the sign of Scorpio. Um, this month, the full moon will be in the sign of Taurus right before we head into Sagittarius season um, towards the end of the month. Alright. Um, Again, I hope everyone is um, doing well. We are out of um, Mercury retrograde. We're sort of in that post-shadow energy, okay? All right, um, do be mindful. We still have, um, what is it, Uranus. That's in a sign of Taurus, all right? So, um, we're still expecting, like, some, some shakeups, all right, basically some, um, shakeups for some breakthroughs, okay? All right, do you make sure you're taking time to set your intentions to smile, ground your energy, reflect on everything that you have done and um you know just for how far you came okay take time to just um again like like just look over things that you've already done um i'm drawing a blank but okay whatever <laughs> Also, Aquarius, um, when I was doing Scorpio 3, your sign came out for um, a couple others as well during the song of uh, Roger Campbell's I Want to Be Your Man, so that may be significant to you. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Alright. Um, the other signs was Libra and Aries that was involved as well. Okay. Maybe significant to you. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay. Feels like I've been gone for a minute. I know I have. Alright, so just bear with me. Just some messages from our ancestors, angels, God, and higher swords to lead us in some messages important messages that you all need to know for this month. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Okay, pillar of light. Wow, I want to say Scorpio back is, is that card as well. Um, Alright, so your vibration is rising, okay? I feel like um, you're being enlightened. Also, you are the oracle here, okay? So some of you all may be teachers. 
the oracle, all right, um, a mentor, a speaker of some sort as well, all right, this is also um, you shedding light on a situation, so like myself, you may be um, a reader, okay, um, I call myself a motivational speaker, okay, so again, just helping others um, by speaking your truth, sharing your experiences, okay, all right, helping those to um, not make the same mistakes, all right, on their journey. Yeah, Star Mother, wow, beautiful, very fitting for Aquarius, okay, um, so this is um, giving me, yeah, star energy, all right, um, you're healing a situation, I feel like you're healing yourself during this time, you're being very nurturing, it's like, how can you nurture yourself during this time, all right, um, making, you know, practical decisions, doing what's best for everybody, it's like, I'm getting that energy with you as well, all right, you um, taking care of others, but don't forget to take care of yourself as well, Aquarius, okay? Other people may look up to you, okay? All right, you may be a, a single parent as well, okay? And starseed, wow, yes, beautiful. So what lights you up, Aquarius? Um, all right, what are your goals? What are you focused on during this month? All right, Spirit is saying that um, I feel like whatever you're doing is aligned with your purpose, okay? With whatever you're called to do, all right? Um, this is you being a free spirit, okay? You're a star seed. You heal others, okay? You're here on this planet with a uh, mission and purpose to um, help others evolve, okay? You sharing your light, speaking your truth, as I was stating, okay? Some of you all are, um, are like reconsidering. Maybe you're wanting to go in a new direction, okay? Also, some of you all are, yeah, like you're, you may be like deep in your emotions as well, getting a lot of water energy. Okay, the spirit is saying just go with the flow, okay? Um, things are healing for you, through you, around you, okay? Um, during this time, okay? Also, you have wait for winter here at the bottom, all right? Um, during the coldest months, your angels are saying they will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes. As long as your intentions are for the highest good of all, absolutely. So yeah, some of you all, um, you know, you may have already been working or, or planning for um, some goal project that you're doing, okay? You're going to see that as um, long as you are doing things with the right intent, okay? Things are gonna work out, things are gonna be fine, yeah, come together and align your life, yeah. So some of you all are gonna be, like I said, you're gonna be helping others, you're gonna be working in a group setting, okay? Some of you all may have felt um, rejected, from a group, okay? Some of you all, there were some adjustments, some changes that were needed, all right? So that way, um, you know, maybe it wasn't helping either yourself or those that were around you, like I'm getting destructive behavior here, okay? Things that, um, just wasn't aligned to who you really are. Yeah, Spirit is saying some of you all needed to um, take a break, okay? Um, Life is good, my future is on. Okay, so some of you all may be in this energy where, you know, 
everything else may be going, you know, fine. It's just, um, this is you. It's like you're, you may not be happy with some things that's going on within your personal life. Like I said, a lot of water and um, emotion, energy. Okay, let's see what type of energy you are embodying this much Aquarius. See what your spirit animal is. Okay, and any signs that may be significant. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Okay, you got June. June may have been significant. Okay, so um, during the summer. I'm getting, yeah, Capricorn and Aquarius. So, yeah, um, this may be a Capricorn Aquarius cuss, okay? You may be dealing with a Capricorn, all right? Something came to light, okay? I'm getting, um, wow, you got February and dog. <laughs> wow, okay, so, um, February may be significant as well, okay, so Aquarius, that's your energy, Aquarius, Pisces, okay, and then dog, dog spirit, okay, this is someone that can be um, a man's best friend here, okay, someone that can be loyal, honest, um, but they're not good at communicating, okay, someone you may need to be cautious with. Someone that can be uh, stubborn and critical, right? Let's see, one more. I'm getting some of you, um, this could have been someone around you that wasn't, yeah, I'm getting no here that wasn't any good. Um, that wasn't a good influence, okay? March can be significant in August, a Leo, Virgo, or Aries, okay? All right. I'm gonna see what houses, um, what planets are gonna be affecting you this month. For my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Alright, wow, you got opportunity, okay? So you're going to be collaborating with someone this month. Alright, or this could have been a collaboration that already took place. Okay, um, Gemini energy. Okay, some communication as well. All right, so an opportunity um, that's going to open doors for you, okay? Yeah, you're awaiting communication or you will be receiving some communication, possibly. All right, you're going to be collaborating. Being vocal. Okay, yeah, first house. Okay, so... Um, how you're being seen, okay? Also, this is uh, Mars energy, all right? Aries, okay? Um, this is uh, the outlook that you're having on yourself. I feel like your progress, okay? Um, you having an awakening as well. It's like, yeah, self-awareness here, okay? Um, doing something new as well. Okay. Pisces, yeah, energy here. Okay, so being very um, imaginative, okay? All right, you're very um, sensitive during this time. I feel like you're, some of you are self-pitying a situation, okay? You're needing to 
um, heal from, yeah, have more, um, compassion with yourself, okay, like be forgiving, okay, also, uh, pay attention to your dreams, okay, you got six house craft, okay, Virgo energy, um, more Mercury energy, okay, Gemini, and Virgo, and action, more, um, Aries energy, so, yeah, first house, something you're, um, you may be passionate about doing as well, something you're very skilled at, okay, something that you could be doing, um, that you provide a service for others, something that may trigger you, okay, this month, there may be some, um, intense things that are said, all right, some heated discussions, something that may, uh, make you angry, okay, yeah, needing to allow a situation, okay, all right, so yeah, here at the bottom, you have seeking ninth house energy, this is Sag, so yeah, needing to be wise about a situation, okay, um, maybe go within as well, seek answers, some of you all, you may be, um, getting a higher education, okay, you may be studying, going back to school, all right, some of you are taking a risk, traveling, all right, you may travel for work as well, yeah, you also have Saturn energy, okay, 10th house, this is Capricorn, okay, um, being disciplined, responsible, okay, um, being structured, well, okay. Um, how are you going to act like that by Teresa's on? Maybe significant to someone. Okay. All right. And more Virgo energy with North Note. Yeah. Someone's destined here uh, to be doing something. Like you have a purpose. You're on. You're on. Um, your mission now. Like you're on path. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you're already following your North Note. Okay, this is um, basically our soul school, all right? Our experiences, everything that we go through here on earth to help um, awaken us, all right? To um, be better beings, to help the humanity, help awake others, all right? I feel like there's something that you're working on um, you, that there may be like conflict you may clash okay a verbal may be significant all right again um have more passion with yourself i feel like you know you're trying to see things from a, a different point of view during this month okay and um, allowing, seeing things for what it is, taking the lessons, and um, moving forward, yeah, okay, so good energy there, all right, what do I want to pull next, um, All right, yeah. <laughs> Let's clarify. So, let's see. A Gemini, Virgo, maybe significant here. Aries, Pisces, and Leo. All right. for my Aquarius. Alright, page 
bunch of wands. So yeah, a new offer here. Message as well. Uh, news of something. From a fire sign. Okay, two of cups, sorry. Soulmate. Um, this can be... Oh, wow. Three of swords, okay? Yeah. Someone um, that you're disappointed with, okay? All right, this can be a younger person. All right, yeah, four of cups here. Someone is, I'm getting that we're bored of a situation, okay? Um, we got the hermit here. I'm getting you in this energy, yeah, studying, um, reflecting on a situation, observing as well. You're seeing someone here around you being a snake, being deceitful, okay? Someone here that betrayed you due to some lies. Yeah, Five of Cups energy, someone feeling regretful. Um, could be involving a water sign, water showing up heavy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? Yeah, wow, wow, Scorpio, yeah. Death, major transformation or ending here along with the justice, okay? So, yeah. Someone's getting karma, or this was karma. Someone received. Due to betraying you, okay? Alright, and the cycle has ended. Alright, yeah, nine of wands, okay? So yeah, it's like you've had enough, you've been through a lot, okay? Within a situation, Queen of Cups energy, yeah. You can be a single mother, okay? Um, roles can be reversed as well, um... Four of Pentacles, yeah, you were um, holding back. I feel like you were taking a break from someone, yeah. Someone had to, uh, were trying to change their player ways, yeah. Someone's wanting to come in with an offer with that Eight of Wands, okay. Or this can just be you moving forward, moving past this connection. Yeah, five of swords, you no longer being in your head, um, conflicted, going back and forth, okay? Three of wands, yeah, you're um, waiting on your ships to come in, okay? It's like you've already been... I feel like you had like a plan B here and C. <laughs> All right. Yeah, tower. Someone is experiencing a tower. Someone could have got put out. All right. You got the emperor here with the three of pentacles and the seven of cups. So yeah, definitely an ending. This could have been someone that you know, someone that they work with. Okay, Aries, showing up real heavy, uh, a sudden shake up, all right, uh, revelation as well, someone could have been, um, like investing else in like their options, with like other other people and other things wow you got the ten of cups here at the bottom along with the star and the nine of pentacles wow lots of majors and the strength card with the nine of cups Yeah. I feel like a 
Aquarius, you are um, doing something on your own, like you are independent, okay? All right, someone wants to heal the situation with you, all right? That would, um, I feel like they, they would be happy, you know, they want to, um, I feel like, like someone wants to, you know, live with them, maybe they're like, um, they know that they would be happy. They want to build a home here. But I feel like you're like you're good on your own, like your stability, like you're happy, you're comfortable with your home life. Okay, a Leo can be significant. Like I said, the nine of cups and the moon. Alright, so something's hidden. Somebody, I feel like somebody wished to be with you. Alright, like you're their happiness, but they're hiding it maybe they're afraid to come speak and tell the truth yeah the lovers not a swords someone wants a new beginning here but they're not i don't feel like they have reached out okay or someone's planning to do this they want to okay so be expecting some communication news this month from um, a lover past connection. All right. Let's get some moonology. answers you need are coming yeah gemini energy as well all right someone may have known in gemini or maybe dealing with gemini be bold and make the first move okay so yeah don't let pride get in your way leo energy conclusions are within reach okay so yeah someone needs to speak up all right needs to make the first move here um something needs to be said or some communication Okay, you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Um, cancer energy. Okay, meditate and contemplate as well, okay? Your hard work is paying off here at the bottom. Capricorn energy. Also, nothing will come in this situation, okay? A personal issue reaches resolution, okay? So, yeah. Um, some of you all need to get out of your own way. I feel like um, if you don't speak up, nothing will be done about a situation, okay? Others of you, um, something that you've already done, something that you've been working on, all right, you're going to start seeing um, your, like, finances increase, okay? Pull some law of attraction and then we'll uh, get some angel answers and some crystals and we will close out your ass with you. Right. Yeah, you got Lily. Something here that takes time or that may require your patience, okay? This also can be regarding an, an elderly, all right, someone that's um, more mature, or this can be you, okay, anchor, yeah, something that you're doing, like I said, is, is going to be stable for you, all right, you're building a stable foundation, okay, something is secure, you've accomplished something, yeah, you've got hidden information, okay, um, something that's not yet revealed as well. Again, that could be that communication coming to you. A child. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, a new start here as well. This is innocence. Okay. Uh, someone that can be young at heart. All right. Others of you, this may be the news that you're expecting or someone around you is expecting. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of you all have some addictions, okay, or um, codependencies, all right, someone that may be possessive or controlling, okay. All 
sorry for some of you all I'm picking up this may be um, okay you got woman a significant woman maybe significant all right this can be a can be a mature older woman okay or this can be you as well all right so um needing to release things that are not, not serving you all right Some of you all, other addictions, um, it can be like just uh, people's character, their trait, like the way they act, okay? Um, some people use that as an excuse in order to, um, you know, just act and be who they are instead of making the necessary and cha changes to improve, okay? So yeah, something is like can't be done overnight or whatever it's going to take time okay all right so you have a letter all right written communication here at the bottom um this can be by text email all right or some documents or some you may be receiving mail all right something that you may have been uncertain about okay some confusion here something you had to wait on okay also snake energy someone again that that was deceptive lie cheat all right this is can be the other person as well the other woman or man someone that's jealous all right of you all right also respond versus react okay so this is you needing to uh make sure that you take time to think before you respond all right um that way you're not responding from a place of old trigger wounds, okay? Um, yeah, any trauma, all right? Practicing um, new uh, thought patterns that'll be beneficial to you, all right, when communicating, okay? All right, I feel like somebody <clears throat> got some communication or they're, they're going to be sending you by text or email because they're they may be afraid of your reaction here okay a Scorpio may be significant I was picking up water really heavy all right let's get some um, advice and um, answers from our angels and guys, future advice, seeing Scorpio energy real heavy. Alright. Future advice for the month of November. Alright. You got fulfillment of wishes. Okay, so again like i said something that you've already been working on all right this is you being very um dedicated and keeping your eyes on the prize here yeah crown chakra okay this is also something that you know intuitively you you are enlightened regarding a situation yeah base chakra as well okay all right, someone here that could have been in their lower nature. Also needing to balance their base chakra. Um, also needing to ground, connect with earth, okay? Remain positive as well, yes. Stay positive in a situation. All right, some of you all are... Um, Stay positive regarding maybe an addiction that you're uh, trying to overcome. Yes, sexual chakra as well. So, um, again, things that are holding you back, any addictions or um, overindulging, doing too much of something. This can even be a person, somebody that, like I said, um, is toxic for you, okay?
balance out your lower chakras that way you can um, receive any messages and intuitive downloads that you're needing to um, like getting these new ideas for something that you're trying to create okay yeah ask your angels here at the bottom reconsider and in the near future big happy changes I'm seeing okay so um, someone may want you to reconsider you may want to um, reconsider a decision it's up to you Aquarius I'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching bye not yet Aquarius I need to pull us some crystals <laughs> Yes, both the crystals this month, all right? These crystals, that'll be beneficial to you. Okay. We got skull light, a skull of sight. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks like a clear quartz, okay? Um, who needs to be up all night worrying about the coming singularity types? Brave explorers of beautiful dreamscapes, okay? Um, where to put it? Under your pillow before bed or where, wherever you want to establish an impenetrable chill zone and when to use it. When it's time to take your sleep hygiene to the next level, all right, needing to put your phone down, pick up a book or a paper, and a paper one at that, all right? Sip on your favorite tea, all right? Chamomile, all right? Um, I prefer, I like elderberry myself, okay? Um, slather on the lavender oil and wait for some rapid eye movement and those dreamy messages marked important by your subconsciousness. Yeah, so again, getting in this uh, peaceful, relaxed state, all right? That way, um, messages that spirit is trying to communicate with you, all right? They will be able to flow come through okay all right your next crystal is amber okay so who needs it tree people oh so anyone gearing up for a long dark winter wow so yeah uh, some of you are maybe um preparing for winter okay the winter months um in most areas i know it's we're in the fall season where I'm at definitely cooler days or cooler nights and warm days, okay? All right, where to put it? Any room you want to convert into a sunroom, okay? And when to use it? When you need a meta metaphysical hug from the universe, call on Amber's cuddly electric blanket vibes and cozy up. So, yeah. This crystal is recommended to help charge up, recharge your good vibes, okay? Beautiful. All right, and your last crystal is bismuth. That's what it looks like. Stone. All right, who needs it? The easily distracted burners, people who are very bored. All right, so you may, again, you have that four cups energy, being bored of the situation, all right? Um, wanting to do something different. I don't know um, where to put it on your desk in a silicone valley and in your other utility belt in Black Rock City. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> when to use it for those looking for some psychedelic influence without swallowing the red pill. Lie on your back and take ten or a hundred or a million powerful breaths through your mouth with this in a place on your forehead then break out of tired gray thought patterns and get en route to a more colorful energized life yeah all right so this crystal helps to rewrite your code all right um help you break any cycles or patterns um thought patterns okay with rainbows all right so with that enlightenment um help open your mind okay all right so thanks aquarius i'm gonna leave it there till next time bye